guys, it's Adrian over at BHA here. Alright, so I'm bringing you a quick video on how you can set up uh, or hide your passwords from your configuration file. Um, if you like to share your configuration on uh, GitHub or with uh, within the Home Assistant forums, then you obviously don't want to be showing your password or your API keys or anything like that. So this way, using the secrets.yaml file will allow you to kind of hide everything in a separate file. That way you can share your configuration without worrying about anybody else being able to see any information. And you can do usernames, passwords, API keys, longitude and latitude. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So Home Assistant already uh, is built to use the secrets.yaml file and to look in that file for any passwords that you have uh, set up in there. So in order to really start using it, all we really have to do is uh, edit our configuration.yaml file. And for starters, I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to uh, use my API password. I'm going to put it in the secrets.yaml file. And then uh, in order to use secrets.yaml, we're just going to do uh, exclamation point secret and then space, and then a uh, keyword that we're going to use for searching for that password. So I'm going to call it HTTP underscore password. And for stars, let's go ahead and save that. And let's edit our, um, let's edit our secrets.yaml file. So we'll do a sudo vi secrets.yaml. It's probably, if you have a new uh, install of Home Assistant, it's probably already there. As you can see, mine was already there with some default information in there. Obviously, that is not my HTTP password, so I'm just going to go delete that and put in my correct HTTP password. We can save that. And at this point, you're really done. Um, if you restart Home Assistant, it'll start using the password stored in secrets.yaml. But we're just to show you what else you can do with it, I'm going to go back into our configuration file and I'm going to add my latitude and longitude in there as well. Uh, so we'll go over here and I'm going to copy these out just so I have the exact numbers uh, that I can paste into the secrets.yaml file. And again, we're going to do it the same way. We'll delete this out. We're going to do exclamation point secret. And I'm just going to call this one lat, L-A-T. And then do the same thing here. Exclamation secret. And I'm going to just call this one long. L-O-N-G. We'll save this. And of course, we're going to put this in our uh, secrets.yaml file here so we'll scroll down uh, see lat and then I'm going to paste that in here and long And that is it. We'll save this file. And now we are ready to restart Home Assistant for these changes to take effect. So we'll do a sudo systemctl restart Home Assistant. Give that a second to come back up. And let's just go ahead and type in our password. As you can see, it's already knows to look in our secrets.yaml file. And look, there we go. Everything's working from the configuration. Uh, Home Assistant is back online. Obviously, this is just a base install with nothing really in it yet. But um, it is now using passwords that I have stored in secrets.yaml. So... Uh, just a quick, easy way to uh, set up your configuration files so that you have those hidden by default and you don't have to uh, worry about having to block those out like I always do. So, um, again, this was not a long tutorial. I just wanted to do a quick video to uh, show you how to set up secrets.yaml. 
Um, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. And, of course, if there's anything you're looking for that you don't see out there, let me know in the comments, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.